And uh, joining us on Skype right now is Kelly, who made this recipe. So, Kelly, is he correct? Is Dylan correct? And Naimo is from a town in. It, can you hear us? In Canada. Yeah, in Canada. in Canada. I have no idea. I have no idea where it's from. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Okay. Nanaimo. 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 Okay. These are Nanaimo bars, and this recipe was chosen by Taste of Home magazine for their state. Uh, it's a state fair food. It was featured there. And uh, Kelly McCauley, she's from Des Moines, Iowa, and Kelly won the best cookie of the fair at the Iowa State Fair. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Iowa. All right. That's why this is a big deal. Yeah. yeah. I figured out Nanaimo was created by Nanaimo, the fish. But Nemo, <laughs> since we're talking about it. oceans, finding Nanaimo. Uh, okay, we're gonna have fun with that. Reaching. Let's bring our little Nanaimos in so everybody can enjoy them. All right, and so Taste of Home told us uh, they chose to publish your recipe because uh, winning first place at the Iowa State Fair is a really big honor. How did that happen? Well, I had moved to Iowa and knew that those Nanaimo bars would probably do a good job at the fair, and so I made them, and they won first place in their class, oh, and there wow. are 54 classes of cookies at the Iowa State Fair, and so all of the winners from each of the 54 classes compete against each other, and the Nanaimo bars won overall best cookie. Well, judging from over here, watching everybody eat them, I think they're everybody... Horrible, yeah. they're, they're horrible. They're horrible. They're horrible. Why? First of all, <laughs> I'm pushing back. Why was I forced on a diet? Why didn't I get more? They just gave Are me you a little a, one. Oh, a little one. There's plenty more, okay. and I baked up a whole bunch more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how we get started on the recipe, because earlier this morning, I made the first layer, or the crust, and here's what I did. All right, the first thing I did was I melted the butter in the pan and I added some cocoa powder and the sugar. And then we're just going to blend it together until it all melts into one lovely, just look at that. Doesn't that look decadent and delicious? I'm going to temper my egg first. What I did was I took some of the hot chocolate and I tempered the egg so I wouldn't have chocolate scrambled eggs. And then I added the egg with a little bit of chocolate back into the pan just to thicken it up. Where are the rollers? What rollers? That's usually in your hair. Oh, <laughs> I took them out for this. Oh, you did. Thanks for, you know, yeah, <laughs> pointing that out. All right, so now I'm going to take the crust, which is uh, graham crackers, pecans, and some coconut, mix that all together, and then once it's mixed together, you're going to add the chocolate mm. sauce that I just, and I cooled it for about 10 minutes first, and then we're going to mix that in to form the crust. But first, I'm going to use a little bit of spray to on my pan so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to press it in like you would, uh, you know, a pie or a, when you're making a cheesecake. And there you go. So that's your first layer. Okay, so now we are back live. Wait. How am I doing so far? Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask Kelly, how, how is she doing? Yeah. Looks good. Okay, well, she said, Kelly says it looks good, so I can continue on. So we have some, um, I'm always, get this, all right. We have some butter here, and I'm going to add to it. The, this is called the custard powder. We're going to use about two tablespoons of custard powder. Put this in until it's blended. A little bit of confectioner's sugar. Put that in there. Just put everything right into the blender, right, Kelly? Yep, I yep. pour it all in. Pour it all in. And that to that, I'm going to add a little tea, a two teaspoons of um, half and half. And we're going to make... Should be I'm, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. I'm right. You're correct. Yes. I was just testing you, see if you were paying attention. <laughs> right? And you are. Yeah. I'm very impressed. She won. She won. She, she won. won. She keeps winning. She keeps She's winning. Big, by the way, have you won others, or is this like your one and only shot? Did you? Uh, no, I won other ribbons at the fair, most notably. What um, kind of a question is that? <laughs> so, well, look, I mean, well, it's. A loser all this. Yes. <laughs> no, I, Kelly, I beg your pardon. I didn't mean it to come out that way. I mean, did you do you like to enter contests a lot? And this was I your do. only time, and you or or. Did How you, many contests what? have you entered, Mark? How many have you entered in you know the what? state Iowa Fair? Where you're hey, from? Hey, you know what? <laughs> what? You're my friend. Okay. So, okay. All Allie, right. Please, have you won other? Have you won other uh, titles? Well, I won two other first place ribbons in the uh, Tone Cinnamon Roll competition for their non traditional <gasps> cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. What's a non traditional cinnamon roll? Well, the first one I won with a white chocolate macadamia nut with cinnamon roll with a croissant dough, and the other one was a pulled pork cinnamon roll. There you go, pulled pork cinnamon roll. Who does that? Who comes up with something like that? That's fabulous. Okay. That is sweet, savory, and I know. One bite. We, should, yeah. we should come back to you for that recipy because we love cinnamon rolls and pork. I want to see. I just have to see what that looks like. I right? Yeah. Cinnamon roll with pulled pork. Yeah. Oh. So we're going oh, to yeah. take the filling that we just made and we're going to spread it over our chilled crust, like so. And then on top of that, we are going to add 
the chocolate. Okay, my favorite part. Here we go. Yeah, now look at this. Well, you should really chill that oh. first. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Finally. <laughs> okay, wait. Finally. Okay, Kelly, look what I have. You have a ribbon, but look what I have. Uh -huh. I, want a I have a magic refrigerator. Right? Okay, there we go. You didn't know, Dylan, we had one of those, did you? I, I know nothing. Okay. I, I see nothing, I say nothing. Thank okay. you for Perfect. pointing that out. You're absolutely correct. Uh, we have to chill it first. We're going to put the chocolate on top of this, spread it around until... It goes to all the corners. And then I assume I have to put this back into the refrigerator for about 10 more minutes, right, to get it nice and hard? Yeah, I okay. like to put the white chocolate decoration on top at this point. Oh, right right now? Oh, okay, while it's still soft? Okay. Yes. Okay, then, then I'm going to sink in. Okay. So I have one that's already prepared here through the magic to television. You eat that? Yeah. You want to eat? Yeah, you, if you're not going to use that, well, there I'll you be go. more than happy to. Here, knock yourself yeah. out. What about a diet? Okay. No, I wasn't, I was, I asked you what diet meant, okay. but I didn't. Okay. I'm going to take the icing, and this is one of my favorite parts here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put some icing down, up and down like this, and then we're going to make that, a lot of these people, a lot of people think that this design is really hard to do. It looks so beautiful, and you wonder, gosh, that looks so pretty. How can I make it? So simple. Just make some stripes. I feel like I'm Jesse Jane right now. Look at me, look at me, look at me go. Okay. Yeah, why, girl? <laughs> yeah, all right. And then you take your knife and you just run it down like this. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at that. There you go. And you make this beautiful design and you cut them into squares and then you serve them. That's beautiful. How am I doing, Kelly? Does that look pretty? Mm. That looks very pretty. There you go. Look how nice very that nice. looks. Very nice. There you go. Good. Voila. Mm.